the offensive line is commonly said to need this sense of timing and chemistry and continuity, perhaps more than any other group on the team. Yeah. You've got five new starters after your injury last year. Is there enough time to develop that before Baylor? And, and what kinds of things can you do to accelerate the process as you get used to each other as a cohesive unit? Yeah, absolutely. There's plenty of time. Uh, there's people all over the country doing it. There's people that play on Sundays that are doing it. They have new lines every year. And so we have no choice but to do it. So it's, there's plenty of time. And the way you do it is just um, paying real good attention in your uh, in practice, man. And every rep, um, communicating and doing what they ask us to do. They're gonna The coaches are going to get us ready. It's our job to to practice in the way they ask us, and uh, we'll be ready. Are people more concerned than maybe they should be about that the inexperience on the line? Because obviously you've played a lot of football here. Brian Collins has played a lot. Gottschalk's been here for a few years. Is this maybe a little bit more seasoned group than people realize? It might be, but uh, there's only one guy that's really played a whole lot, and uh, that's me. Brian and Jordan have been here for a while. They know what to expect, and um, I think we're just going to be just fine, and um, there's a lot of people that are that are worrying, and that's uh, warranted because this unit has never started together. But uh, we're ready to accept the challenge, man, and, and prove people that we can do the job. How much different is it playing under Coach Palsic than your first years here, with his terminology, his teaching style? How much of a, a night and day change has it been for you? That's pre it's pretty different, and. Uh, we, we like Coach P. Um, we like Coach Clem as well, but they're different guys. One guy was new to the coaching game, and one guy's been around for 42 seasons. So they do things a little bit differently, and uh, it's our job to adjust to the way they do things. And uh, I think we're going to be just fine with Coach P. He communicates really well. He lets us know the standard, and we've got to meet that standard. What's his teaching style like? Is he more of a technique guy who pays attention to detail? Is he a yeller and screamer? Is he Does he get in there and demonstrate things? What is he like with you guys? Um, he's, he's definitely a good communicator and a good demonstrator. Um, he, he can be whatever he needs to be. He can get in there and, and yell and raise his voice if he needs to. Sometimes you need to do that to get, get somebody's attention. And so Coach P's been around long enough, dealt with a lot of athletes. He knows how to communicate to every different kind of personality we have in our own line, and we're excited about having him. When you have as many new faces as, as you will have on the line and you do have a new offensive line coach right. this year, do you anticipate having to simplify the blocking schemes and the calls and that kind of thing, at least in the early going this year? Um, I don't think so. I, I think uh, June does that week to week, season to season, based on his group. And with the group we got here, we got some sharp guys that um, know how to play. And they've been here. They may have not been on the team, on the field, excuse me, but uh, they've been here and they know what to expect. We've They've been in those meeting rooms long enough. Even Lasecki, it's a year long. Um, if he ends up playing at Waco, uh, he'll be expected to contribute and play at a high level. So, You obviously played center your first few years here. During right. the spring, you at right guard. Now you're taking some snaps at left guard. Right. What's the biggest challenge or, or adjustment for you when you make that transition from one spot to another? Um, honestly, the biggest thing is letting me, uh, is, is uh, making myself um, submit to Taylor Lusecki's uh, new authority at center. And so I'm used to directing traffic and making the calls and handling everything. And it's my job now to sit and let Taylor do his job and block what he calls. And so we can't be on the field having two guys call, make calls. I was there as my freshman year. I had two older guys around me that were trying to do the same thing, and it doesn't work. So I've got to learn to sit back and let him make the call. If he's drastically wrong and if there's time before the count to remind him of something, we'll do it. But um, I've, got to, I've got to listen to his call and roll with it. What's a little scouting report on Taylor? I mean, like you said, he's been here a year. He didn't play last year, but he's been in the system a year. You know him. You know the position. What does he do well, or, or how would you gauge his progress as a college center? Um, Taylor wants to be good, and that's great. That's a great asset to have. Um, he's really working hard to get on the field and perform. He wants it real bad, and um, you got to respect that in a guy. And so we're, we're excited. Taylor may not end up being – uh, playing a whole lot. Um, some guys, he, he may be taking every snap. We don't know. But um, we love that Taylor is working hard every day to get on the field. You can't always say that about guys, but Taylor brings it every day and he wants to be on the field. So that's, that's the best thing about him. Your roommate over the summer, Garrett Gilbert. Yeah. Um, Coach Jones said at Media Day that at least he goes into camp as the starting quarterback. Exactly. Can you get a sense of how comfortable he is absorbing this offense by now? Yeah, he's doing really well. Garrett's a really sharp kid. And um, He's no dumb. He graduated college in three years um, down there at Texas. He's, he's run five different offenses in six seasons. The guy um, knows how to how to run offense and know how, knows how to pass the football. So we're excited about him. Um, it's his team right now. Um, Connor and those guys are preparing. Neil looks good. 
Um, but Garrett is the guy, and so we, we've got to. We, he's got to um, step up, keep learning the offense. I think he'll be ready to go. You got a proven commodity, obviously, at running back with Zach Line, who's led the conference right. in rushing the last two years. Right. Do you envision having to lean on the run a little bit more than you otherwise might, while Garrett gets his feet wet and gets comfortable in the system? Um, honestly. We're going to lean on Zach regardless of who's at quarterback because he's one of the best players in the conference, one of the best in the country. So Zach's going to get his carries and his touches. Um, but also, that being said, Garrett might be the best quarterback um, talent-wise that we've ever had. And no offense to any of the guys we've had here. I love them all personally. But Garrett um, might bring a new dimension uh, that we haven't had. So we're excited about both, man. We Ideally, we'd love to be maybe 65, 35, being, getting Zach his 20-something carries and then throwing the ball and uh, scoring points. So if June feels like Garrett's rolling, we're going to throw the football. But we also feel like we can get Zach 1,200 to 1,400 yards this year if we block and do our assignments well. So we're excited.